Hi, I'm Alex and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a place where I talk about what I've been making each month. So I've got a few knitting projects to show you today and I'll talk about what I'm wearing. I have a small handmade business where I screen print my own fabrics that I design and I create project bags and accessories for knitters and makers. And I also share on Patreon some of the behind the scenes of the business and my more creative work. So if any of those things sound interesting to you, I'll put some links below where you can find my shop and my patreon if you want to follow along with those things um, I'll start by sharing what I'm wearing so today I've got the my Zotes dress by dear and doe which I made quite a few years ago now I think um, it's a rayon chalice fabric and I'll stand up so you can see it's got this sort of gathered waist and if I remember rightly I shortened the sleeves ever so slightly and it's got these little shell buttons and a sort of almost like a granddad style collar I think you'd call that um, but yeah really lovely and cool dress to wear in the summer so yeah I really like this it's very light and floaty and I love this print um, I'd be surprised if this fabric was still available but um, I will check it out because sometimes um, I think it was from oh I can't remember I definitely I have notes on it so I'll look it up for you and yeah hopefully there might be possibility that it's still available somewhere but if not it would look beautiful in all different fabrics I've knit um I've sewn this in a linen so I've also I've actually got a hack that's over on my blog blog where I shared some small tweaks I made to do a sort of longer midi length version I did a midi length version in um, a linen fabric and I carried the buttons all the way down through the dress and I put some patch pockets on it as well just to yeah give a totally different look so I'll share a link to that as well for any of the sewists amongst you that might be interested in that but yeah that's it for sewing I've got some fabric on the way to do another hemlock tee and a pair of bellbird shorts I'm going on holiday at the end of September and I wanted a couple more sort of summer pieces that I can just wear around the pool so yeah I'm looking for, forward to that arriving I should have waited and <laughs> I could have shown you the fabric because it will probably come tomorrow but the weather's been really gloomy all week and today's the first day the sun's come out so I knew that I wanted to jump in front of the camera and share some of my makes with you where I had the lights so let's get on and I'll start by sharing a new cast on so this is in one of my summer berry bags this is a top handled tote and I just love this style of bag I've been working out these a lot lately and yeah really really pleased with how those have turned out so yeah I've got the Ara shawl and I am in the middle of the row but I've only done such a little bit <laughs> I don't think it will matter too much but you can see um, it has this eyelet pattern and I'm using a very fine weight yarn I think I dropped the tag yeah let's get that if you've been around um, since some of my earlier episodes you'll know that I did used to work for the fibre company and although I'm not working with them anymore I still really love their yarns and was happy to buy a skein of this as I thought meadow would be perfect. Andrea uses quite a similar weight this they call it a heavy lace and it's a 100 gram skein which gives you 498 meters and 545 yards and it's a 40% wool, 25% llama, 20% silk and 15% linen blend so it's quite an interesting yarn and it just feels really lovely I think it's going to be beautiful for summer I will show you a picture so apart from the eyelets it does have a quite a simple lace border so there you go you're able to see that I think it's a really lovely, it's quite a shallow crescent shape, which I think is a really nice shape to wear. You can wear it sort of really bundled up around the neck if you wrap it around a few times, but it will look really beautiful draped over a dress just over my shoulders. So this is another project that I'm hoping to have finished before my holiday so that in the evenings, if I want to cover my shoulders um, or just add a really light accessory, then I've got something that I can take with me so I'll give you a sh little look at the ball I also if anyone's interested I've got a tutorial here on YouTube showing how I you um, how I wind those skeins and create the yarn cakes so I will share that up in the corner for you 
So that's a new cast on, which is exciting. And because I was working on that, I haven't done a lot of my socks, but in my summer berry drawstring, I've got, I'm not sure if you can see, but this print does have little um, gold accents in the middle of some of the flowers, which I think is really sweet. Should point that out because I don't think it comes across in the pictures so well. And it's a really nice detail when you're looking in person. So in here, I've got the St. Mary's Mead socks by This Handmade Life. And when I showed you last month, I had, oh, let's take that out. So I had just started the toe and I haven't got much further, but I have got to the point where I'm memorizing the pattern now. I don't have to look at the chart. It's a very simple pattern. It's a six row repeat. And for four of those rows, you're just doing plain stockinette. And for two of them, you're doing some very simple increases and decreases, which as I say, I was able to memorize. So really enjoying those, but I did put those aside because I wanted to work on the shawls. So I haven't got those finished, but it's always nice to have a sock project that I can take out with me or in the evenings, if that's what I fancy working on, having a little project is always nice. So that's my sock project. And finally, I've had to put this, this is my cinder sweater and I've had to move it on into a bigger size bag that fits a sweater. So this is the medium size sack that I do. And the cinder sweater is by Jessica McDonald and she very kindly gifted me this pattern. I think, I'm trying to remember how that came about. I think she approached me about knitting her children's wear collection, which is really sweet, really beautiful, but I didn't have any plans to knit any children's wear at the time, but I do love her color wet pullovers. She's got a few that are really beautiful designs. So I think I remember at the time I said, I wasn't looking to knit any children's wear, but I did really like her cinder pattern and would she be happy to gift that to me? So she said yes, and I cast on using the Jameson Smith two ply jump weight yarn that I used to knit my pheasant pullover and it's come out beautifully. I'll stand up so you can see that I've finished the sleeves and I actually put the body on hold so that I could check the fit before finishing the body. So I find that it really helps when you've got this kind of yoke sweater and you try it on as you're knitting down. I do think sometimes it sort of rides up a little bit and you don't always get an accurate idea of how something's gonna fit and feel when you've got the sleeves on. So I did go ahead and put the body on hold, knit both sleeves. I did make a little bit of a modification on the sleeves. I was finding that I thought that they were gonna be a little bit too snug for my liking. I like to have a little bit more room in my sleeves. So I didn't follow the decrease patterns until much later. I started decreasing so I will share those notes as well in case anyone's interested in that but obviously that's the beauty of knitting is you can tailor your own sweater to fit exactly how you want to so you might not want to follow those decreases that I did the patterns probably will work for you but as I say I felt a little bit snug it might be because I'm using a different yarn maybe my um, gauge is slightly off in the sleeves who knows but anyway it was very simple to when I realized I tried them on after I'd done a few inches and just thought don't think I wanted to continue decreasing so I just left the decreases off until I got to like the sort of slimmest part of my arm and decreased to the cuff and I love the cuffs they've got um, just really lovely simple one by one ribbing and I am pretty sure that I'm at the point where I can add the ribbing now. So if I feel like working on this sweater for the rest of August, so that I've got a nice new sweater to wear when the autumn comes next month, then um, yeah, then I'll have a finished sweater to show you next time, but we'll have to see. I've been really unwell this month. The first half of July was um, not great and all I felt like working on was some stockinette and just going round and round and round so that's why I was able to get quite a lot on this done because I didn't have any of the sleeves done, still had quite a bit to do on the body but yeah I was really quite unwell and 
at first I didn't even feel like knitting to be honest it was when you, you know when you don't feel well and you don't even want to knit or read or anything just feels like too much effort but as soon as I started getting my energy back this is exactly what I wanted to work on so I did make really good progress and it feels nice to have something to show for not a very nice time <laughs> because it's something it just adds another layer of stress when you run your own business and you have to take time out because you're ill it's just another layer of stress because you know that you're not making any money where you're out and yeah you can imagine that that's a bit of a strain and you've got that in the back of your mind willing yourself to get better but you can't always rush these things can you so I'm really happy I've been feeling better the last couple of weeks got my energy back and I've been working really hard to get the shop stocked up so if you've been waiting for payday or you've been waiting to make a purchase and you noticed earlier in the month it was looking quite quiet over there you'll be happy to know that it's fully stocked I've got all of the different sack sizes I've got sock sacks medium large sacks I've got the drawstring project bags and all my different fabrics I've got the top handle totes and the larger sort of tote bag with the longer handles yeah I've got needle cases everything I think everything's back in stock now I worked really hard on getting all the different um prints stocked up and yeah it's looking lovely and full now so if you want to go and have a look I'll put a link to the shop below my website is alexcollinsdesigns.com and yeah go and take a look and see what I'm doing over there actually one of the things I did while I was sort of recovering was I have wanted for ages to work on my packaging and if you follow me on over on Patreon they had a little sneak peek so I was working through the ideas for this but I've got some new this was a little look at the new boxes I've done like a new closure for my boxes with my branding on it and I've also designed these stickers which I think look really nice I'm putting these in orders at the moment but yeah I've been using these two for closures so inside the box I have craft paper that keeps everything beautifully wrapped and yeah I've been wanting to design my own stickers so that I can have a bit of a fresh look so that's something that I actually worked on and it's funny because <laughs> it's a project I've wanted to do for so long I kept putting it off putting it off and it was something that I could just do on my iPad and just do it in a few minutes here and there so it probably did take me <laughs> about two weeks to do this from start to finish to do the stickers um, which is like a really small thing but it was something that I could just pick up and it yeah it wasn't something that was too taxing I could kind of draw some of the designs put it down come back to it the next day and yeah so I actually have a couple of things to show for my time out so although I wasn't doing my usual work I did get my packaging done which was great and I knit my sleeves on my cinder so it wasn't all bad <laughs> felt bad at the time but now I'm looking back actually that's quite um, good and I'm really happy to have that project ticked off my list because it's the kind of thing that you keep pushing to the back because it's not something that's urgent there's always other things that I need to be doing so yeah it did kind of get pushed to the back but not anymore I think that's all my projects to show you if you enjoyed the video I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already you can subscribe to the channel and then you won't miss any future episodes as I said before, there will be show notes linked below the video and you can get the show notes to your email. So every time a video goes live, anybody that's on the show notes mailing list gets an email and they receive a list of everything that I talk about in that episode. So you'll see before you even click through to the video what I've been talking about. So you can sign up for that as well. And yeah, it's been lovely to chat to you today. I really enjoy sharing what I'm working on and I would love it if you wanted to tell me what you're working on or what you're drinking and where you are in the world. Like, let me know what you're doing, where you're watching as I'd love to hear from you. And yeah, it'll be a few weeks, three or four weeks. I'll come back and I'll show you what I've been working on in August. So take care everyone and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.